great Greek food, pastries, live entertainment, and tons of things to keep kids busy. Greek Fest begins tonight in South Kansas City. We'd like to welcome Stacy Kimbaris to our kitchen. All right, what are we making today, and how do you pronounce it? We are making tzatziki. Tzatziki. So, so many folks, they mispronounce it. So we want to make sure that we're going to do it right. Tzatziki. Tzatziki. You tzatziki. Got it. You okay, got how do you start? Okay. Well, one thing, tzatziki sauce is like the Greek version of ketchup. We use okay. it with like everything. So and it's very simple. You guys can whip it up really fast and easy. We're going to start off with our um, grated cucumber. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we're going to add our sour cream. And you could use yogurt if you'd like, whichever okay. you want. Which is a little bit lighter option. Now, in terms of the um, the cucumbers, don't use a food processor or just use it? No, you, it's okay? you definitely can use a food okay. processor. Okay, so we're going to do our cucumber mm -hmm. and we've got our sour cream. You like it nice and rich. Yes, yeah. So, I mean, if you if you want to do low fat, you can, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's tastier when you do full blown. Okay, and then we're going to add our grated um, garlic, mm -hmm. which is very good and adds a really good kick. Your olive oil. Okay. Okay, extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna do our lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, salt and pepper to taste. So okay. We're gonna add that in. So okay. do you sample as you stir and like, you okay, know what? Yeah. I like it. it, leaves a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that. And we're gonna mix it all up. Okay. Now, what about the um, moisture from the cucumber? There's a little bit of that, that you know, kind that's of That's okay. Juice just adds left. a little bit more juice. So okay. that's fine in there. And then we are gonna just mix it real good. And then you just put it in the fridge for like eight hours. Mm -hmm. Or, you know what, if you wanna do it the night before and just keep it in the refrigerator overnight. Okay. Okay. And, um, now, do you add any dill or mint to it? We do. You know okay. what? After you have it um, refrigerated mm -hmm. and it's all set, then you do add your dill at the end. And then this is our finished product right okay. here. And so, you know, you just top it off with your dill. Do all you right. like adding mint to yours or do you only say dill? I do not add um, mint. I okay. just do dill. And then you can use, um, you know, your pita bread. Mm -hmm. You can use pretzel chips. You can use, I mean, anything. And you know what? It's well known with the gyro sandwich. Oh, yes. Which we will have mm -hmm. an abundance of gyro sandwiches at our Greek food festival this weekend. Okay. Tell us about some of the great things going on at Greek Fest. It's oh. so much fun. Yeah, oh, and great food. Oh, my God. It, it, it's fun for everybody mm -hmm. because we have kids. We have a kids section where mm -hmm. there's entertainment and games for them. We have five dance troops that are going to be wow. performing. And those are all people from our community. Mm -hmm. Beautiful Greek costumes, traditional mm -hmm. Greek costumes. Um, you're going to have an opportunity to learn to dance Greek. All of our guests are um, uh, invited to do that. We have a wonderful pastry booth. Let's take a look at some of the pastries that you brought with you today. They're amazing. They're beautiful. And they're huge. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they're to share, I guess, right? You can buy one piece. You can buy variety packs. Um, what are some are of our... the examples that you have here? Okay, well, right here we have our traditional Greek pastries. We have our baklava. Mm -hmm. Malo Makarona, Kurambiades, which is our traditional wedding cookie. We have chocolate baklava, Gadaifi, pecan blossoms. And um, so you can get, like I said, one or um, a, a variety of them. And then over here, we've got almond cookies. We've mm. got these, these um, desserts called Cokes that have a cream filling, either chocolate or um, vanilla or lemon. We've got um, a new addition this year is baklava cheesecake. Great. And oh we, my gosh, we do have our amazing. baklava sundaes, which is a popular um, fun for the fun uh, dessert for the kids. Mm -hmm. And so um, you can you can get those, pick those up. A new addition that we do have to our uh, Greek Fest this year is our church library mm -hmm. and bookstore is open. So you can come and we've got some of the things over here. We've okay. got um, our uh, icon, which our church is filled with beautiful Byzantine icons. Mm -hmm. And um, please go on a church tour because those are uh, offered and you see how rich our, um, our religion is with mm -hmm. our customs and traditions. And you have an opportunity in our bookstore to learn about orthodoxy, to buy books. We've got, um, you know, uh, plaques in there too and some jewelry gift items as well. Experience the culture, learn about the culture, and enjoy the amazing food as well. And dancing. That's I right. love it. That's I love right. it. Okay, Greek Fest begins tonight at 6 at the Greek Orthodox Church in South Kansas City. Now the fun continues Saturday from noon until 10 and Sunday from noon until 6 admission and parking are both free. Thank you so much for stopping by and bringing all this amazing food. I know you'll be exhausted, but have a great weekend. Thank you so festival. much. Please come see us. Okay, sounds good.